What's up, Slicker View fans? Coming at you with another video. We're checking out another microphone. We've been checking out a lot of these recently. I have a whole series of budget microphones. If you're getting into voiceover work, podcasting, anything like that, we've got another entry into that series today. Another one from FeeFine. We're gonna check it out and see if it's any good. If you are new to the channel, we do a lot of cool product reviews, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's get started. All right, guys, so you know the drill. We're going to get right into it here. So taking a look in the box, we're greeted with the usual propaganda and stuff. So file that. <laughs> and then taking a look in the box, here's the microphone itself. So taking a quick look at this, and then we'll get what else is in here. So nice construction here. Not a lot of plastic parts, really, only this kind of hinge device here to attach it to the stand that's inside. But everything else is metal, so that's really good to see. It has a nice weight to it. On the front, there's a volume control that sort of acts as gain. So you can control the volume of your voice going into the microphone. So that's a nice feature to have. On the back, we have a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio in real time. So you can try to test the volume levels and get a pretty good idea of what you're sounding like. On the bottom is the power input, which is this type of cable to go into the microphone. And then it is just regular USB on the other side. And then here's the mount for the tripod. So that's a quick look at the microphone. Looks pretty nice. Let's see what else we get inside here. So here we have a really heavy uh, stand. Yeah, so a nice heavy metal disc just to wherever you're gonna put it. And that has a lot of weight to it. So that should hold it pretty steady wherever you put it. And then again, here's that power cable. So we'll set that off to the side. And then a couple other little things. Okay, here's the, the rest of the stand and more parts for that. And that's it in the box. So we'll throw that off to the side and I'm just gonna quick get this all set up. So guys, while we're getting this set up, I just wanted to show you that the stand part right here, these all unscrew. So basically you have three adjustable positions where you could put this microphone. So just for the purposes of our video, we're gonna leave them all there. But just so you know, you could just mount it, you know, like this on the first one, you could put just one more of these so it controls the height. So something to keep in mind, but let's keep putting it together. So here's what it looks like when it's all set up. Really nice looking professional microphone. If you're going to use this on camera as part of your voiceover or podcasting work or anything, I do think it looks professional. Nice, just black uniform look. And again, it's all metal. Looks pretty classy. And one cool feature, guys, before we get this hooked up, I just want to show you that it does unscrew from this tripod and you can just remove it completely if that's something you're wondering. So here's the mount that it comes with for use with this tripod. But if you already have like a boom stand or really anything else, as long as it fits, you know, as long as you have some sort of mount that can accommodate this, you have this ring here and you can take this microphone and put it wherever you want. You can maybe even use it handheld, you know, with the cord. The, the possibilities are endless, but just so you know, that is an option. It can come off of this stand if that's what you're looking for. But let's get it hooked up to the iPad Pro so we can hear how it sounds. All right, guys, so we've got the microphone hooked up to my iPad Pro through the hyperdrive and regular USB. The audio that you're hearing right now is coming from my lav mic that I always use for my videos, but we're going to get this rolling and see how it sounds. So here's the audio coming straight from the microphone into the iPad Pro. I'm monitoring it with some earbuds through the headphone jack that's on the rear of the microphone. And I've got it set up on my desk at what I consider kind of a reasonable working distance if you were using this in a podcast setting or a voiceover work or anything like that. Right now I've got the volume turned all the way up and I'm trying to hear if it's distorted at all, which can happen if you turn that up all the way. It sounds okay to me right now, but just in case I'm going to turn it down to about 75%. That's typically what works pretty good, but as I'm monitoring it right now through the earbuds, it sounds pretty okay turned up like this. So anyway, like I said, here is the audio into the microphone into the iPad Pro. So you can judge for yourself how it sounds. And of course, with any microphone, you know, where you position it, how you position it relative to your body and how close you sit, all of those things are going to impact how it sounds. So depending on what sound you're looking for, you know, if you get real up in close like this and you try to go for like that soft NPR sort of sound, if you're trying to do a podcast like that, you know, you can do all sorts of different things with these microphones. So the point of this part of the video is just to give you a lot of dialogue and I'm just trying to make stuff up on the fly just to say stuff 
basically so you can get an idea how this thing sounds. So I do think this sounds pretty good, especially if you keep in mind what you're going to pay for this microphone, it is very affordable. So if you're just looking to get into some voiceover work or start your own podcast or you need this for school or anything, you don't necessarily need to run out and buy like a Yeti mic and spend a bunch of money on anything super professional. If you just want to get started, maybe you're a hobbyist and you just want a budget microphone that's going to do the job, I think this one is great, you know, especially like I said for the price point, value for money. I think this sounds pretty good. Features that you get, you get volume control on the front, all metal construction, it's mountable, comes with a stand, runs through regular USB that you can use in all sorts of different applications with a lot of different devices, and you can even monitor your audio with the headphone jack on the back. So taking all that into account, I think it sounds great. And again, like I said, you can change the audio depending on where you want to sit, how you want to position the microphone, and how loud you want to project, you can get all sorts of different sounds. So this is the Fifine K670 microphone. So guys, that's all we've got for this video. This is the Fifine K670. I think this microphone sounds absolutely great, especially right now it's priced under $50. So this is a great option to check out. I think this is one of my favorites of the ones we've done recently. This is an excellent microphone, great for podcasting, voiceover work, maybe you're making an audiobook, or you need it for school, whatever you want to use it for. If you just need a budget microphone and you don't really want to invest in something super high end, I think this one is a great starter kit. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. My question for you guys is how do you think this sounds? We recorded most of the last segment with this microphone, and right now the audio that you're hearing is of course coming through this microphone, that's why I'm holding it. So what I wanna know is what do you guys think? How does it sound? Let me know down below. But like I said guys, if you have any questions, let me know. The link for this product is down in the description as always. Thanks for watching. That's all I've got for you this time guys. See you at the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. Here's some other videos that I think you'll really like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you at the next one.